Thank you, fellas. That's great. For over two centuries, our brave men and women in uniform have overcome tyranny, fascism, communism, and every threat to our freedom. Every single threat they've overcome. And we've overcome these threats because of titans like Jim, whose spirit could never be conquered. That's what this award is, and Jim's life represents so well. America's unbreakable spirit. It's been 48 years since Jim's battle in Vietnam. He is now a husband, a father, and a grandfather. He coached high school, football, wrestling, and baseball for 38 years, just like he said he would. And he brought together every member he could find of his beloved Charlie Company. To many people in this room, Specialist 5 McLuhan has always been their friend, Jim. To others, he's been coach. To those who bravely served with him in Vietnam, he still called their doc. To his parents, Scotty and Margaret, both watching from heaven, he will always be their son. But today, 320 million grateful American hearts, Private McLuhan carries one immortal title, and that title is Hero. Specialist 5 McLuhan, we honor you, we salute you, and with God as your witness, we thank you for what you did for all of us. Now I would like the military aide to come forward and read the citation. The President of the United States of America, authorized by Act of Congress, March 3rd, 1863, has awarded in the name of Congress the Medal of Honor to Private First Class James C. McLuhan, United States Army, for conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity at the risk of his life above and beyond the call of duty. Private First Class C. McLuhan distinguished himself by acts of gallantry and intrepidity at the risk of his life above and beyond the call of duty from May 13th through 15th, 1969, while serving as a combat medic with Charlie Company, 3rd Battalion, 21st Infantry, 196th Light Infantry Brigade, <coughs> America Ameri Division. The company air assaulted into an area near Tam Kai and Nuyan Hill. On May 13th, with complete disregard for his life, he ran 100 meters in an open field through heavy fire to rescue a comrade too injured to move and carried him to safety. That same day, 2nd Platoon was ordered to search the area near Nuyan Hill when the platoon was ambushed by a large North Vietnamese Army force and sustained heavy casualties. With complete disregard for his life and personal safety, Private First Class McLuhan led two Americans into the safety of a trench while being wounded by shrapnel from a rocket-propelled grenade. He ignored a direct order to stay back and braved an enemy assault while moving into the kill zone on four more occasions to extract wounded comrades. He treated the injured, prepared the evacuation, and though bleeding heavily from shrapnel wounds on his head and entire body, refused evacuation to safety in order to remain at the battle site with his fellow soldiers, who were heavily outnumbered by the North Vietnamese Army forces. On May 14th, the platoon was again ordered to move out towards Nguyen Hill. Private First Class McLuhan was wounded a second time by small arms fire and shrapnel from a rocket-propelled grenade while rendering aid to two soldiers in an open rice paddy. In the final phases of the attack, two companies from 2nd North Vietnamese Army Division and an element of 700 soldiers from a Viet Cong regiment descended upon Charlie Company's position on three sides. 
Private First Class McLuhan again, with complete disregard for his life, went into the crossfire numerous times throughout the battle to extract the wounded soldiers while also fighting the enemy. His relentless and courageous actions inspired and motivated his comrades to fight for their survival. When supplies ran low, Private First Class McLuhan volunteered to hold a blinking strobe light in an open area as a marker for a nighttime resupply drop. He remained steadfast while bullets landed all around him and rocket-propelled grenades flew over his prone, exposed body. During the morning darkness of May 15th, Private First Class McLuhan knocked out a rocket-propelled grenade position with a grenade, fought and eliminated enemy soldiers, treated numerous casualties, kept two critically wounded soldiers alive through the night, and organized the dead and wounded for evacuation at daylight. His timely and courageous actions were instrumental in saving the lives of his fellow soldiers. Private First Class McLuhan's personal heroism, professional competence, and devotion to duty are in keeping with the highest traditions of the military service and reflect great credit upon himself, the AmeriCal Division, and the United States Army. Bless us now, O Lord, as we depart our separate ways. May the memory of this occasion, may our participation here unite us all in compassion for service to all the members of our families, our military, our country. Strengthen us in faith and renew us in spirit and send us forth with your peace. Amen. Jim, thank you. God bless you. God bless your family. God bless the United States of America. Thank you, Jim.